we left off, we are on a date with Cosmos and her pretty small eyes. But, nevertheless, let's get into it. So, some date this is. I huff, my arms folded, my long legs further up beneath a table that is too small for me. Dragging me off a train was just the first step of Cosmo's diabolical plan. I barely had a chance to gather my breath when my fingers tightened about my palms once more, her eyes shining with excitement. We're going on a date, Hiroki. We need to hurry. A date? But where? Where are you? Ah! And so just like that, I find myself here. Cosmos hauled me all the way to this maid cafe. This is quite a cute cafe with white tables and pink walls. Pots of flowers bloomed on almost every available surface and the smell of cinnamon and hot chocolate lingers in the air. Waitresses bustle past their black flat slapping against the wooden floor. They're great customers with cherry cries of welcome master, welcome mistress. Their frilly dresses fluttered around their thighs. Some of the waitresses are carrying no pass. Mm. Wait. <coughs> I'm having a hard time speaking. God damn it. God damn it. Some of the waitresses are carrying notepads, ready to jot down orders, while others hold trays laden with slices of apple pie, strawberry sundaes, and fruity milkshakes. Cute J-pop music dances in the air, mangled with chiming of the bell over the door and the chattering of patrons. I think I recognize this song, actually. Isn't this one of AU's? This cafe isn't a bad place to go on a date, I guess. There are a few couples here, and other than Cosmos and I, who's acting lovey-dovey, feeding one other bites of cake and holding hands over the tabletop. If Cosmos was my girlfriend, I'd feel right at home. But Cosmos isn't my girlfriend. In fact, I hardly know her. Things are progressing way too fast, and I can't wrap my head all around this. When you said you wanted to go on a date, were you being serious? What do you see in me anyway? Are you trying to get one over, over on Marina? Are you actually interested in me or is this some sort of joke? What sort of name is Cosmos anything? It doesn't seem like a, a Japanese type of name. And then again, you are a succubus. I guess it makes sense since your name isn't Japanese. So why are you in, why do AU and Marina have Japanese names then? Are they their real names? Or did they make them up when they came to Earth? Maybe their succubus moms has relationships with Japanese men, but how did they end up like that? How long have they been on Earth anyway? Or is it some sort of succubus realm out there? Where you guys live without humans. Cosmos remain irritatingly unresponsive. I asked her dozens of questions since our smiling waitress shows us our seats and since she had since she hadn't said so much as a single syllable she's trying to make me feel uncomfortable. Maybe she Maybe she's a sadist like Marina. Hey, Cosmos. Send my palm. Palm against the table, hoping for some kind of response. Why'd you bring me all the way here if you're not going to talk? What are you doing anyway? Oh. Cosmos blinks. She set her phone down and looks at me beneath her eyelashes. 
Sorry, rookie. I was doing something important. It didn't look like you were doing anything all important to me. For the last five minutes, Cosmos has been busy snapping shots of her ice cream sundae, which a kind of waitress already brought over. She must have taken hundreds of pictures of a frozen treat from all sorts of angles. Her tongue got out of her mouth for a while. Her dedication uh, to the art of photography is kind of impressive. As a photographer myself, I want to commend her as my metis, meticulousness. But another, a bigger part of me feels incredibly aspirated. Thank you for the invention of camera phones. Millions of people across the globe fancies themselves as pro photographers. You, pe you see people like Cosmos everywhere taking snapshots of every aspect of their lives so they can upload them to social media. For some odd reason, people seem particularly fascinated with taking food photos. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's because everybody, no matter their age, gender, or personality, has to eat. It's easy to farm likes by uploading food of, or food of pics. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to farm likes by uploading pics of food, particularly cute food, like Cosmos Sunday. I admit, the Cosmo, her, I said her Cosmos, I need help. <laughs> I need help. I admit her Sunday does look good. But I don't think there's any... Ugh. What did he say? But I don't think there's anything special about it. I tried being a real photographer and see how difficult it is then. Forget it. This is very important. Cosmos returns my grumpy scowl with a small serious note. I need to take photos. I upload the best on the rabbit pound. Rabbit pound? That social media site with the questionable name? That's right. Another nod. You might not know this, but I'm a bit famous on Rapidcount. I need to upload at least a few photos a day, or I'll let my fans know. Define a little bit famous. <laughs> I have three million followers. Cosmo replies with a simple matter-of-fact tone. It takes me a few moments to process the full weight of her words. When the pendulum find, finally drops, however, I find myself galping. Three million! That's right. I've only had a Rapid Pound account for a few months, but I became quite well known. I'll say that's something of an understatement. Thank you. <laughs> it is? Yes, a lot of famous actors and singers have less followers than that. I don't keep a breast of social media trends. I'm too old and irrelevant to worry about the online clout, but I'm not completely clueless. I have been on a rapid pound before, and I have a few ballpark fi figures to work with. Let me see. I take my own phone from my pocket and then search through Rapid Pound. I look up uh, a used profile and scan through it. I use one of the most popular idols, and she doesn't even have a mil one million followers. She only has seven hundred thousand. Oh yeah, I heard about that. I use very ang was very angry. She said, "Cosmos clear her throat and then launches an eerie, accurate impression of." I use shrill tones. Why do you have more followers than me? You don't even have special talents, and I'm way cuter than you are. Damn! All you do is upload half naked photos in cheap, crappy cosplay and pictures of food. Thousands of girls do that. But why are you so popular? It's not fair. Well. With a figure like hers, I wouldn't say anything otherwise. 
Mm -hmm. Cosmo's impression of AU might be a little too spot on. Actually, I whine, and I have a clap of my hands over my ears to blunt the worst of it. AU's voice is quite powerful, isn't it? It really is. She has strong lungs. No one can shout louder than her. I don't know about that. You gave her a run for her money there. You think so? Thank you. I don't have any special talents, but I'm good at impressions. I'm good at taking photos too. That would explain why she has 3 million followers. My fans would be waiting for me to upload a new photo. I can't let them down. So saying, Cosmos began to take a few more photos of her ice cream sundae, but I, mm, I did not mean to say but. By this point, it started to melt, but that doesn't deter her. She focused on the dessert with laser-like precision. Her nose scrunched in concentration. Her fingertips on her phone dazes at times every second, and her flash sputters accordingly. I watched Cosmos, leaning back in my chair. I thought she was a silly, frivolous, frivolous girl, excuse me. Like the high school students back in the train. But maybe I wasn't mistaken. For an influencer, she's surprisingly hardworking. Now, I wonder. Hey, Cosmos. What's your rabbit found name? Why? Do you want to look me up? I'm curious, yeah. I want to see some sort of the stuff you've been posting. So you are interested in me. <laughs> Cosmos giggle. Her cheeks turn pale pink with pleasure. Is she really happy that I'm taking interest in her? I'm Cosmos Flower. But you probably should have checked my profile in the public. Some of my photos are pretty... Ah... Uh, lewd. Um... Cosmos blinked at me, suddenly shy. Are you looking at my profile, Hiroki? I nodded my head stiffly. Fingers gripping my phone like claws. My face was so hot, it felt like a furnace. Oh, 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 shit. I know I clicked away from Cosmos profile, but I can't. My whole body's frozen up. Cosmos wasn't joking when she said her photos were lewd. The images of her feet are incredibly revealing. There's one photo of her dressed in a lewd bunny girl costume. A bottle of alcohol lodging between her... Wow. I would pay money to see that photo. There's another shot of her wearing a micro bikini so sheer it leaves a very little to my imagination oh shit oh shit oh my body is oh, oh. calm down calm down calm down calm down and then most badly of all there's a photo of her resting climbing in a bathtub playing with what appears to be a live squid you know what they're playing. They're fucking playing, yo. They are fucking playing. As you guys can probably tell right now, I am flustered. I am super flustered. I can't be bothered what I'm witnessing right now. Okay. What, what sort of photos are these? That's my question. <laughs> these menagerie of hypersensual images are interspaced with shots of the sunset slice of cakes, cups, and teas of various and an aesthetic things. But the majority of her photos are one wardrobe malfunction away from full-blown pornography. What a surprise. Is this stuff even allowed on Rabbit Pound? Isn't it a violation of their terms and service? AU says that too. She keeps trying to flag my account, but it doesn't work. See, 
I'm not showing anything too lewd, but it's fine. This is what pe the people at Rabbit Pound say. Maybe not, but you're, you're on pretty thin ice. I stare at Cosmo's photos, dazed. I can see Cosmo's butt, her breast, and her smooth, soft belly. <laughs> There's too much of her starting, I'm starting to overheat. Yep, yep, same here. <laughs> With trembling hands, I navigate away from Cosmo's far too tempting profile. Then I slap my photo back my phone. <laughs> I slide my phone back into my pocket. Do you really not mind posting photos like that to the world to see? No, why should I? I have a nice body. I'm not ashamed. And besides, make people happy. I like making people happy. I think you might want to rethink that statement, what you just said. <laughs> I'm not doing anything wrong, am I? You don't think I'm dirty, do you, Haruki? I mean, I don't think you're dirty, but it is sketchy. I don't think it's dirty, but it is a little off. You're an adult, so I can't tell you what to do, but I don't think I would want any daughter of mine making a living of this. Not that I have any children. I'm not so sure I follow. Am I really doing something bad? I haven't murdered anybody. My photos make people happy. How is it off? I guess there's nothing wrong with it. These might be my own prejudice, but, well, whatever, it's your life. I have no right to tell you what's best for you to live in. Okay, thank you, Aruki. I gl I'm glad you're not too judgmental. I have a few fans. Three million followers is definitely more than a few, provided they're not all bots. Does this girl realize how famous she is? Either she's very humble or she's totally did. Given her slow, sleepy way of talking, I'm personally leaning towards the latter. But some people hate me. I get nasty comments. People call me mean things. They think it's bad to show my body to people, but I don't think so. I'm happy if you don't agree with them, Haruki. I knew you were a nice man. No, there's, no there's nothing special about me, really. But there is. Cosmo look at me determinedly, her voice shredding some of its sleeping, monotonous qualities. I knew you were special when Marina started talking about you. My big sis had high standards and good taste. I was certain you would be kind and gentle. And you've not betrayed my expectations. I really do like you. That's why I have to thank you. Here. I need to think for one minute, but I'm gonna hold it here. Thank y'all so much for tuning in for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell if you want to join the Iron High today. Tell me in the comments what you thought of this episode. <laughs> Anyways, that's been it, guys. Later.